As a university student studying health and disease, how often do you find yourself conducting research using databases such as Ovid, Medline, PubMed, and even Google Scholar? Over the years, you've been told repeatedly that you must use credible sources. A random web page by ScienceGeek44 just isn't good enough anymore. Your references must be presented as objective research that is published in reliable, peer-reviewed journals. The more references and reviews that you include, the more reliable your work becomes. However, even that isn't enough sometimes. You're also told to refrain from using really old studies because scientific opinion is constantly swaying based on the latest research. You have to use the latest work. The problem with that is that cutting-edge research doesn't reach you until it's finally published in a journal. This can take months, and in some cases, years. What if you were a patient with a serious illness? Wouldn't you desperately want to know the latest developments and treatments? What if there was actually a way to monitor the current research being conducted around the globe in real time? Clinicaltrials.gov is your solution. It is a database of over 210,000 publicly and privately sponsored clinical trials of human participants in over 192 countries. To get started, you can search any condition or intervention. Let's try immunodeficiency. The search returned 207,044 trials. You can use operators like AND, OR, NOT. So let's try immunodeficiency, not AIDS. Now you can see that we've come up with only 308. In the results, you can see the status and the name of the study. For example, if it's in progress, if it's still recruiting patients, if it's completed, and if it has results. It also mentioned the condition and interventions or drugs being used or tested. If you click a study record, you get a lot of useful information like the purpose, the contacts, the results. For example, this study shows that it's testing if children with an immunodeficiency will benefit from early stem cell transplants by using drugs like these. The outcome is to measure whether these drugs were beneficial. There were 25 participants and it's a 5-year intervention. If you click a study that has the results, you can see the participant flow, baseline characteristics, outcomes, limitations, and more. And if the trial has been published in a medical journal, you'll see that all the way at the bottom of the results tab too. Other useful tools are to find studies by topic, and you can even use a map of all the studies which shows all of the trials by country. You can make use of the many guides and how-tos which explain in depth how to use the website and have background information and basics such as what are clinical studies and a glossary of the terms on the website. If you play around on the website, you'll discover a lot of interesting and useful facts, stats, and figures. So remember, the next time you're asked to present the latest findings on a certain condition by your teacher or by a patient, be sure to use clinicaltrials.gov for current and future research.